Hey guys, Darren here. Welcome to Mayhem Country Living. I'm going to show you what we are working with today. Show you a problem. Uh, we're down here, obviously, in the hydroponics uh, in the uh, the growth section. You can see all the uh, the pink UV. Um, the Scarlet Runner beans are doing really, really well. They have decided to take off, and I am actually getting flowers. Uh, on this one already. So that is doing great. Uh, the Martian tomatoes. Where's that Martin? I can't remember. Um, M-A-R-T-I-N. Martin. Martin tomatoes are coming along pretty good. I have a few more that are coming up. And uh, the baby spinach is still not doing a whole, whole lot. Uh, more butter crunch is finally coming in. Uh, the holy basil is coming in great. Uh, it's looking really good. Um, the good King Henry, the spinach, is coming in nicely. My bunching onions are all coming in. That's a new tomato plant. And I am working on these guys. Um, but it's going pretty good. These, on the other hand, I swapped. The tray was originally here. I swapped it here. The nutrient is identical, but older. Here is the problem. This was beautiful and flush, but look at what we are dealing with algae. Now, those little white markings, uh, those white globes are beneficial bacteria, and that's normal. And that means that it's actually working really well. Bacteria, molds, funguses on these guys let you know that your system is working to a degree. Um, obviously, you don't want it to cover mold or anything like that, but you have a healthy system. Now, algae is uh, problematic. I have already added as much hydrogen peroxide to the mixture as I dare because it would probably kill the plant. At this point, it's probably just gonna be academic. So we're gonna make notes and we will start over. Uh, so these will probably go to the chickens. Hang on, I'm gonna spin you around and I'll show you a close up. There we go. You can see that the root system covered in algae now and actually we have lost our hair roots. So these guys are on their last legs. Now, why did they do this? Well, it could be the nutrient was old and as it was old, er, it had enough time for algae to set in. Um, that is my thought. Could the fact that I have introduced an air pump into the system, could that be causing a problem as well? Uh, maybe, maybe not. What I am going to do, I'm going to add a lot more peroxide to this, just as an experiment. Um, maybe if you guys have this problem, maybe you'll know what to do. So I just find it interesting. Uh, more than likely, we're gonna lose all of these lettuces, which is a shame. Uh, they were looking beautiful until I jacked around and moved everything. Now, what does that tell me? In the future, I believe I will change all of the nutrient tanks that I have at the same time. And that will keep me from running into this problem. Because this nutrient tank, if you recall, this one, uh, had about two months of nutrient in it. It had been in there that long. 
I didn't think it was gonna be that much of a problem. You can actually see the difference in the color. You can see the hose and well, well, it's a little opaque. I don't know, but we will, uh, we can actually see algae growing right there. So we will give it a good dose with peroxide. I have been using uh, a lot of Lysol, uh, diluted uh, with water, 50-50. Uh, but that did not help. So. Okay, now we're back, guys. Hydrogen peroxide, 3%. And that's 10 gallons, and that's a quart. So we'll add that to the mixture and we will see how these guys react. I'm hoping I can save one or two. Um, this is uh, the romaine. Yeah, the green romaine. So, I actually want to see if there's going to be any kind of uh, foaming. And yes, there is, you can see that has stirred the bottom up a lot. So we do have a lot of algae in there, in this system. Very interesting. I still don't think we will be able to save the plants though, but that's okay. That's just the way it is. Now, I was talking to you earlier and I noticed that we have some pests on this. So, we will get something to knock that back. More to come. Now, just so you guys know, the problem with the mites is coming from the fact that I used uh, outdoor potting soil. You can actually buy, it is much more expensive, soil that has been sterilized um, for indoor use. You, you can't. And there's nothing, uh, there's no critters growing in it. Me being cheap and the fact that I want to have as healthy a system as I can, bugs, dead bugs, as they, as they die and rot and uh, the other critters in the ground eat them, they poop, you know, we, we get a lot of beneficial uh, bacteria and nutrients from that. Downside is sometimes you get an infestation uh, with those uh, mites, but we're just going to uh, maybe get a little bit of tobacco water or uh, a little bit of uh, soapy water, just a little bit, and uh, spray it on in the evening when the lights go off. So I've got these guys on a 14 hour uh, 10 off uh, cycle so that's pushing them but you know this is all an experiment I guess we're gonna wrap it up because I got to mix that uh, stuff up uh, tobacco water some of you are saying what what the hell is tobacco water uh, it's nicotine spray nicotine is actually beneficial in the fact that it is a poison how about that guys um, what I used to do uh, I used to go out and ask one of my friends for a cigarette. Um, and I would take the cigarette, drop it in a couple of gallons of water, let it soak for a day, take that, spray it, kills all the bugs on the plant, and it's natural. Yes, nicotine is a very powerful toxin. Um, so I'm going to go... Uh, find somebody that smokes. I don't know many people that smoke. Hmm. They're all dead. Anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap it up. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for hanging out. I'll post this video and uh, get going. Oh, yeah, we did plant some orange. Uh, my grandson wanted to plant some orange seeds, some citrus. We will see how they work. 
Be nice. Take care of your people.